Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm excited today to jump on and talk a little bit about the gorgeous elusive wig from Natural Image Wigs. Now, as I record this in real time, I'm actually doing a giveaway on the channel right now to win this wig and another wig. So you've got a choice of this wig or the Audacious wig. And I did a little updated review of the Audacious wig the other day. So you can see both wigs properly and decide which one you'd like to win and get involved in the giveaway. But if you're tuning into this after the 31st of August, the giveaway will be closed. But this is like a little review of this wig and talk a little bit about it because this wig is one of my favourite wigs, Lucy. It's so beautiful. I've got this in pretty much every single colour it comes in. And I've done reviews on every single colour too in the playlist section. But this particular colour I'm wearing it in today is Chocolate Copper Mist. Yeah, Chocolate Copper Mist. And it's a gorgeous, you know, kind of ready brown. So it's very deep and rich, just really pretty. And I think the reason why I like this wig so much is because one of my favourite wigs from Godiva Secret Wigs is called Zara. And I've only got Zara in one colour. I've only got Zara in Cinnamon Toast. Even though I would love Zara in every colour, but I'm waiting until I do my next order to order from there. But in the meantime, it's such a nice treat to be able to wear Elusive in all the different colours because Elusive reminds me of Zara. Obviously, the cap construction is different because this is a basic cap and I'm going to show you that in a second. And Zara wig is much more high end, but this is really great for the money. You know, this wig, if you're buying this wig, it ranges from when it's on offer, you know, from between £100 to £130, depending where you get it from, when you get it. But I absolutely love a Lucy. I think it's such a pretty little curly style. And, you know, if you love curl, you're going to love this wig. You're going to love it. You can boof it up and curl it with your fingers, scrunch it up and create as much body and height as you want. So you can really boof her up. And, you know, when she's like this, she looks a little bit like a um, movie star wig by Ellen Villa. You know, I love that wig too. I've also reviewed movie star wig in two colours as well. So you can check them out as well. So it's got a little bit of body and height like that. So, you know, you can see it like this. This is gorgeous. Maybe if you're going out on a night out, you want it with a lot of curl. So you give her all this boof. You know, so if you're wearing it like this... It's absolutely stunning. If you're a curly girl, you know, if you love your curls, and I am because my hair is naturally curly. So I've had it as curly as this and I've had it straight and all kinds of, you know, curl, wavy and, you know, it goes frizzy as well. That's the good thing about wearing a wig. You're never going to get the frizz if it rains or if it's humid because it's a wig. And this is average size cap. This is synthetic hair. So it's not going to, you know, kind of go all crazy if it rains. And that's the thing I love about wigs, you know, you get them out the pack, eat the box, you shake it up, you put it on your head, and she's amazing, she's good to go, and this style is going to last you all day. So, you can have it boofed up, or, if you like it a little bit of a flatter look, just use your fingers to flatten the whole thing down, like this. Look at that. So, you know, it's gone from being big and boofy to sleek and nice, so, you know, like, look at that. So really, you know, the world's your oyster with this wig. You can do what you want with it. And you're not stuck with it like this either. You can put headbands in. You can put clips in this. You can bling it up however you want. So if I show you how it looks there, you know, you've got the machine teasing to give it body. It's not a lace front wig, but it doesn't need to be. And obviously, you know, if your bio hair is matching the colour of the wig, whatever colour you decide to go for in this wig you're going to feel even more confident in it. So I just love Elusive. I think she's gorgeous. And I love as well how, you know, she kind of goes into the back, you know. She's got all this kind of boof at the back, but it's it's just very nice how it sits on, you know, the neck. And then it comes a bit longer, you know, around the face, so it's very feminine. I love them when they do this. You know, that's why I'm a big fan of, you know, some of the wigs that do this. Like, I've got the gorgeous Ray wig, from Rene of Paris, and I'm in love with that one. That's coming soon to the channel. Watch this space. Ray wig by Rene of Paris, gorgeous, because that's like a, a short into the next style, and then it comes a bit longer on the face. So it gives the feminine, you know, vibe around the face when it's a bit longer on the face, but it's still nice to wear 
especially if you don't like hair around you or you don't want a long style or you don't want anything that kind of goes, you know, lower than here because you're wearing maybe polar neck tops or you're wearing, you know, coats or you don't want that kind of hassle of the hair getting messed up or anything like that or stuck in your coat or your top. So I'm going to take off a loose sleeve and I'm going to show you. So you can see, I mean, this colour is gorgeous, chocolate copper mist. If you like this colour, just a very nice, rich kind of, you know, brown with this hint of, of something in there. It's got like ready tone. So it's not red, but it's got that kind of richness to it. You know, you can definitely see a little hint of red in it when you're looking at it here. And that's the copper effect in there as well. But it's, it's done very subtly. You know, so you're, if you're after like a nice brunette wig that's rich, this is definitely a nice colour to go for, chocolate copper mist. And I've got this colour in Audacious Wig that obviously I'm doing with a giveaway as well that you can check out. And Josephine Wig, it's beautiful. I really do love this. I think I've got Glow Getter from Natural Image in this colour as well. So, you know, I've got a few wigs from, um, from Natural Image Wigs in this colour. It's really beautiful. I also a big fan of, you know, the other wig I really like, the other colour I really like, should I say, in this wig, is I love the um, Platinum Mist Rooted, which is a gorgeous kind of platinum icy blonde. And I also love it in um, Caramel Glow, because that's kind of very rich, you know, like a, a butter colour. It's beautiful. So have a look at the other colours as well in the playlist, especially if you're getting involved in the giveaway, because... You know, whoever wins the giveaway, there's only going to be one winner. I'm going to give the opportunity to choose the colour you want. So you're not stuck with this colour, you know, thinking, oh, well, I love the wig, Liz, but I don't like the colour. There's going to be plenty of choice. And that's the same, you know, if you want to buy this wig, you're not stuck with this colour. There's plenty of choice. So lots of curl on a loose leaf, she's gorgeous. And when you turn the cap inside out, it's a basic cap. You've got the breathable wefting on the top as well as through the back as well. You've got Velcro style adjusters to make the wig tighter or looser to suit your own head. And, you know, it's got this. The thing I love about natural image wigs is, you know, where the hairline is, it's very nice to wear. It's, it's lovely. It feels, you know, furry and fluffy and comfortable. You know, I've sewn those two wig clips in. But if you wear this with a wig grip band or a wig cap, it's very comfortable to wear. Even with wearing nothing, you know, it's very comfortable to wear. So I think you're going to like the way it feels on your head as well. So let's get it back on. So obviously I've prepped my hair for this wig. So I'm going to open the two wig clips. I'm going to put the front of the wig about there. And I'm going to put my head into the wig. And I'm just tucking all of my ponytail in at the back. Flattening that down, grabbing the two ear tabs, aligning them, making sure they are straight and, you know, flat to my head. And then we're going to lift her up. So you can see, you know, the thing I find with the machine tease wigs is, you know, unless you lift them up, they're not going to spring up with, you know, kind of the mono tops. They, they tend to fly straight up. So with this elusive, you need to push it up to your hairline about there. Okay. And then clip her in obviously you know I've sewn those wig clips in but you know get her up to your hairline and then you're able to play with her and obviously you know if you've got wig grip bands on or you've got wig clips in you've secured the wig whenever you go like this you know you can mess around with her and she's not gonna go anywhere you know she's not gonna get lopsided or fall off or you know push up so I mean you can see how I've took her off We've had a little play with the cap and everything. And I don't have to do anything to this wig. She's wearable straight away. You know, the only thing you may need to do is just change the parting to suit you. Because obviously with this being, you know, a free part, you can part it wherever you want. But I like it like this. You know, I just think she's very pretty. And I just love elusive. And whenever I wear elusive in whatever colour I wear it, I get compliments. People saying, oh, I love the curl on your hair or, you know, where have you had your hair done? And I say, it's a wig. And they're like, oh, you know, because I just love telling people I wear wigs. You know, obviously I wouldn't go out and say, oh, by the way, I'm wearing a wig unless someone asks me. But, you know, I'm not going to kind of lie and say, oh, yeah, it's my hair. I say it's a wig so that everyone can get involved in having this amazing hair. She's gorgeous. And, you know, like I say, if you want to, you can put a clip in there. Hold it back a little bit with a clip in. Maybe you're thinking, I don't want that bit round your face. You know, just put a little clip in there. Like that. 
get her out your face especially like i say if this is your bio hair for me you see this wig looks super natural on me in this color because obviously my bio hair is dark too but i can still rock this wig in any color because as long as i've got it on right up to my hairline it's going to look fabulous so she's an absolutely gorgeous wig gorgeous curly wig great value for money if you're after a wig that looks gorgeous and is a really nice alternative to maybe get Iris Secret Wig Zara or Movie Star by Ellen Villa and you don't want to pay the higher prices but you perhaps you've got £100 to spare then get yourself one of these. Gorgeous. And I get my natural image wigs from Natural Image UK but you know there's other outlets you can use to get natural image wigs from. Maybe you can pick something up from eBay and I actually bought this particular one. How I was introduced to the elusive wig was when I was in London, right at the beginning of my wig journey. And I went into the shop Selfridges in London and they got like in Selfridges, it's a huge department store with all kinds of stores in, all kinds of little shops in there. And right at the back, there was a hot hair concession stand and they got wigs in there and they got this one and audacious so i bought both of them and i got a raquel welsh wig as well i got the scene stealer and cinnabot and you know this was like where i was first introduced to this wig you know i have my hair if you're wondering if this is an itchy wig it's not it's just i've washed my hair today and because i haven't dried my hair properly i do find that if i don't dry my hair properly i can get itching every now and again not all the time other than that i don't get itching at all with any wig i wear you know, even the Amazon wigs, I've never had itchy. So you don't get a problem with anything like that. But just be aware, if you wash your hair and you don't dry it properly and you put your wig on and maybe you've got a little bit of itching going on, you're thinking, what's that all about? It's because you haven't dried your hair properly. As soon as your hair's dry, you don't get that. I have found that as well. That's a tip or a trick. So let me know in the comments if you've had that too. If you've not been bothered to dry your hair properly, so maybe it's been a hot day, and then you've had a little bit of itching under your wig. But it goes away as soon as your hair's dry. So I have found that too. But look how gorgeous she is. I love this curl. She's so funky. You know, Elusive is so funky that you can just get it, you know, with all this kind of volume and height. And, you know, you can do things with it. So, I mean, obviously you could comb this curl through. You could get a comb and comb it out. Or you could use your fingers to comb it out. But I'm like, why do you want to comb out this gorgeous curl? You know, it's like with Zara Wick from Good Iris Secret Wicks. I love that as curly as you can get it. And I saw a wig reviewer brush all the curl out of it. And I was like, oh, why? Why brush all the curl out? You know, if you want a, a straight style, get a straight wig, you know. But this is designed to be worn curly. And as much as you want or as less as you want, it's up to you. But Elusive is such a stunning style. And that's why I wanted to do a little review video and share it with you. And if you want to see all the other videos I've done on Elusive and all the different colours, check them out in the wig review playlist right now. Have a great day, sending you so much love, and I'll see you soon.